My name is Charlotte. I am one of the careers advisors at Queen Margaret University. There's three careers advisors and an um, employability development advisor as well. So there's four of us within the team and we're here to support you during your, your journey with us um, at Queen Margaret University. So overall today, um, what I'm going to cover is thinking about what is employability um, and how we at QMU to help to develop your employability skills. I'll also um, go through a little bit of the support that's available for current students um, and then thinking a little bit further in the future um, of what we offer in terms of support for graduates as well. Um, but to start with what is employability? Um, so the quote here sort of outlines what we feel employability is. So it's a set of achievements and skills, understandings, personal attributes that make an individual more likely to secure and be successful in their chosen occupation and for the benefit of themselves, the workforce, the community and the economy. So that to us, um, it, it's more than just your degree, um, it's all the other things that you can offer. So your, your understandings, obviously your um, your knowledge and the academic learning that you're taking from the course but there's also lots of personal attributes and skills that go alongside your studies that you're developing and um, transferable skills uh, as well as um, a whole host of experiences that you can bring to your future career um, and that as you feel is most important is that extracurricular stuff the things you can get involved with outside of the classroom that's what's going to make you the most employable person and um, going forward in your career and to sort of prove that fact we have a graduate employability rate of 97.1 percent so what that means is 97.1 percent of our graduates within six months of graduation are in full-time employment or further study so within that you can tell that our graduates are desirable they're going into kind of things that they're looking to get into and um, with some of our very vocational courses such as our allied health professions that figure is actually 100% and um, so our graduates are getting the work and, and the kind of um, future career path that they're looking for and um, so that that figure should hopefully give you some um, positivity around what skills you're going to be gaining as a student with us. But how we develop um, your employability. So this comes in a, a manner of different ways. Um, we do have a number of placements within courses. It does vary from course to course. Um, some of our courses are very placement orientated. Others, we will structure the programme to ensure that the learning that you're getting out of it um, is is useful for your future career. So we do have a variety of different processes in place and um, there is a sort of revalidation and, and reflection process within course um, structure where we will look at what the, the programme has um, and what we get fed back. So the feedback that we're getting from students, from employers, from organisations outside of the university, they will all influence the course structure. Um, so whilst some aspects are dependent on what you're studying, we will always be looking to what you need to know um, to develop our programmes. We also offer um, our employer mentoring programme. So this is run by the careers and employability team. Um, within that, you can um, be matched with a mentor who is working in a field that you're interested in. Um, so employer mentoring programme, we have um, over 40 mentors now within the, the programme. We've done quite a lot of work to um, get a real diverse mix of people within that um, programme. It's available to you in your third and fourth year of your course of study. Um, and hopefully by that point, you'll have an idea of what it is that you're looking to go into as an industry or a sector. Um, and you apply to us to be part of that and we match you with a mentor. So you can then develop a one-to-one -one relationship with that individual. Um, they vary from you know, kind of very new 
uh, recent graduates, for example, um, who are just starting out within their industry. And we've also got people right up to manage, senior managers, um, sometimes even you know, business owners as well. Um, so you can be matched with somebody that really links up with your areas of interest. We've recently developed our enterprise mentoring program as well alongside this, which is looking for um, individuals who are interested in starting their own business. So uh, as a student, if you're thinking about setting up a business when you graduate, we can match you with somebody who has already done that. Um, and you can learn from them um, and really use their experiences to um, match um, what you're looking to do as well. Um, we also offer a whole host of different work opportunities. So we have an online portal uh, called Student Central, which you'll have access to as soon as you matriculate. Um, and on that, we have hundreds of job opportunities. Um, be it part-time work, casual work, maybe on-campus employment, for example, um, all the way through to volunteering. Um, we also have graduate opportunities, internships and placements, for example. So a whole host of different opportunities all advertised through our um, online vacancy board. Um, and if you are looking to develop certain skills or you want to maybe just have some part-time work to um, work alongside your course have a chat to us and um, we can have a look and see what would fit best with you and we can maybe have a look at some opportunities with you to, to make sure that you're making the most of your time with us so you brought us something that we really would like to encourage with a lot of students it's an amazing opportunity and um, there are lots of opportunities depending on the, the course of study again um, but they vary from location across Europe, um, America, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Hong Kong, We've got a whole host of different um, partnership agreements where you can take advantage of, um, of those great links to really enhance your skill set um, and your overall employability at the end of the course. Other things that you can maybe do as well, maybe not just study abroad, but there are international opportunities that you can take advantage of through the likes of um, summer camps and um, summer work opportunities, placements um, or internships that might be able to be done internationally. Um, so maybe looking overseas for an internship, for example. Um, we do have a lot of those advertised with us and equally we've managed to help students to source specific ones and um, if there's you know a country you're maybe interested in working with or a certain organization we have uh, worked with students to make sure that they can make the most of their experience and the time and um, that they're with us so lots of ways that you can you can help develop your own employability but also how we can help you um, and the support that we can give you there we have uh, very strong links with a number of um, different industry partners. We've been working quite a lot with a whole host of different areas. The hospitality sector is one that we've seen quite a lot um, of engagement with, particularly around Edinburgh um, with tourism and being quite a large part of um, the city. Um, but there's quite a few bursaries and, and opportunities where you can actually get funding support from some of these. Um, with Dakota Hotels, um, they've actually paid for some students to be doing um, things like wine tasting and brewery tours so that they can then have that knowledge when working within their hotels. Um, Apex have paid for some students to um, be supported through postgraduate study um, with funding. They're the Lord Forte Hotel at Balmoral, they've offered third and fourth year hospitality and tourism students um, support of up to £2,500 worth of a bursary um, if they're working with them. We've also seen um, some of our postgraduate gastronomy students supported through the Kitchen Group. Um, Brody Solicitors have supported our business management students, um, particularly with gaining experience um, and shadowing within uh, their, their organisation. But by far our biggest funder um, of support has been Santander. Um, so within Santander, there's been over £1 million worth of funding uh, provided to students 
um, in the years that we've been working with them. Um, there's bursary support for when you're coming to apply um, to help towards tuition fees or living costs. Um, there's certain um, funds that you can apply to, particularly for, for example, students that are coming from care experience or young carers. Um, there's funding you can apply to there. Um, but there's also funding available to support internships um, for third and fourth year students. So Santander have actually part funded internships for three months in the summers um, for students interested in going in to work in certain fields. Um, they developed links with um, the university and with specific organisations and Santander have funded 50% of the pay um, to ensure that students are getting a decent wage as part of that internship programme. Um, so there's some really good uh, things going on in the background um, with industry support. At the moment, we're also working um, to try and source other types of internships. Um, the current situation has had to, had to kind of reevaluate some aspects. Um, and we're looking at things like virtual internships now as well. So we're still working to ensure our students can get um, some really good experience with us. Um, so other ways as well that we, we can support you um, as a careers team through your studies. So with um, information and advice, we have, as I mentioned before, our online portal. Um, so that is available to you 24-7. Um, there's lots of resources and things on there. We've um, got things like, example, CVs, um, information guides, all that kind of stuff. So you can browse through that. Um, but we can also provide advice and support for if you're maybe applying for jobs, um, looking at part time work, if you want somebody to look at your CV, for example, to give you some feedback. Um, or a job application that you're completing, we can have a look and give you some feedback on that. LinkedIn profiles, all that kind of stuff. So we've been um, working with students to try and support them as best we can, even from the moment they arrive. Um, so within our, our um, early semester, we typically will have a careers fair, um, which will have opportunities like part-time volunteering, um, as well as some of those kind of international opportunities for the summer months. There's also a graduate um, fair there, so we have graduate programmes advertised during that session as well. Um, some of the education work that we do is linked to your modules. So within some of the courses, we are um, working with um, module coordinators to actually do some sessions in class with you. I'm um, talking about kind of future careers and um, looking at CVs, etc. And um, so we've been doing quite a bit of work on, on that. Um, we're influencing some modules as well within certain subjects. Um, we work with, for example, with the media department. There's a module called Working in the Media um, and Creative Entrepreneurship. So if you're thinking about setting up your own business, um, we can help you kind of work through what it might that might look like with you um, and that's part of the um the creative entrepreneurship module as well um, and then we've also got guidance so we can offer guidance sessions with you again at any point and um, we tend to see students more in the later years of their studies when they're thinking about that next stage so what is it that you want to go into um, and we can do one-to-one -one appointments with you um, or we can do, you know, done a variety of different things recently in the current situation, online appointments, video calls, um, telephone appointments, that kind of thing. So we're working, working through to um, be able to offer you as much as we can um, whilst you're studying with us. But it doesn't just stop there. So um, we do offer our graduates careers advice for life. So as a graduate of QMU, you will always have access to our support and the, the services that we can offer within the careers team. So be it five years down the line or even 10 years after you graduate, we have students that are contacting us and um, maybe they're applying for a different job. They've perhaps been in a job for a couple of years and they're a bit out of practice with the whole thing. And um, we've also been working with 
a variety of different uh, opportunities to develop like LinkedIn profiles or some workshops etc where you can maybe take advantage of some of that information and guidance that we have other things so it might be that you're having a complete career change for example and perhaps it is 10 years from when you graduated and you're not quite sure how to go about that then we we can offer you advice and um, so we do have students that contact us as I say maybe it is 10 years after you graduate and you want to have that one-to-one -one chat just to talk things through the support is there um, and offer you so at any point our, our door is always open to you as a graduate of QMU and that sort of rounds it off from me so thank you very much hopefully it's been helpful and informative for you and um, if you have any questions then please do pop them in to the chat box and I'm more than happy to answer any questions. Okay, Kiara has asked, um, do you help with interview skills or CVs? Yes, absolutely we do. Um, so we do have workshops, for example, that we run for CVs, maybe how to write a CV if you've not got one. We can also um, offer feedback on CVs. We regularly have people sending in um, a CV to us, for example. Um, and we will give them feedback. We've also done mock interviews with students. So if you have an interview coming up for a specific job and you maybe want to just practice a little bit, and um, maybe you've not had an interview before, or it's been a long time since you did, and um, we have done mock interviews with students as well. So yes, we will be able to offer um, help with those. Um, so Marcus is asking, how easy is it to find a part-time job as a student from the EU? Um, just finding a part-time job in general, regardless of where you're from, um, is fairly straightforward. But one of the advantages with Edinburgh is that we have such a large student population. Um, the, the turnaround sometimes with those work, uh, those job opportunities um, does happen quite regularly. So, you know, we have things like retail jobs and um, working in the hospitality sector, you know, in bars, restaurants, all that kind of thing. Um, we regularly have students obviously doing that for the time that they're there and then they leave and um, so the next lot of students can take on the, those opportunities and um, so generally speaking finding part-time work it, it's a, it is possible it's definitely there and um, one thing to bear in mind as um, a student from outside of the UK you will need to apply for a national insurance number before you'll be able to work we actually set up um, national insurance appointments at the start of semester. So um, we have the team come on to campus. So you don't need to set up a, an individual um, session separately with them. Um, they come, they typically will come on to campus and to, can do one to one appointments through that. So that's one thing you will need before you can start working is your national insurance number. Um, but if you do need any help or support with finding work, um, then please come along um, we have our employability centre and um, or you can send us an email um, to careers or employability um, if you're looking for part-time jobs we've also got within the online portal and um, we have regular vacancies listed there um, and there is a newsletter that we send out as well and um, with current vacancies listed so yeah, you should be able to hopefully find something quite quickly if that's important for you um, and hopefully that's also answered um, the follow up in, as an international student question there as well. Because, um, as again, you'll need a national students number, but all of the opportunities are available for anybody to apply to. OK, and Neve has asked, is there any jobs available on campus? Yes, there definitely are. Um, one of the main job opportunities, I would say, is being a student ambassador. Um, so taking tours of the campus and um, taking part in events like this, for example, and um, to give your knowledge and information about um, what it's like to be a student. So we have um, opportunities around um, the first week and um, so kind of induction and, and helping people find their way around open days and um, on campus visits, that kind of thing. So there are definitely opportunities in there. We have some students that work in um, the catering facility on campus. So either through um, Starbucks, uh, through the shop, 
through the canteen and um, through Maggie's bar um, and cafe over over in the Students Union. Um, there's part time jobs available with with those um, groups as well. Um, and we do have kind of one off things coming up. Um, so maybe we have a large event coming onto campus. Um, you know, a large uh, conference, for example, and they're looking for a couple of people to help signpost people or direct. Um, we do occasionally get sort of one-off job opportunities like that as well. Um, but your most regular are things through um, catering uh, on campus or through our student ambassador program. And both of those will be advertised through the, the Student Central um, Vacancy Board as well. Okay, and Maddie, Maddie is asking, is QME mentoring any students who want to enter a TV film with the employer mentoring scheme? Um, yeah, so QME mentoring is, um, our mentoring employer programme is open to any student across any um, of our subject areas. Um, we do have um, people that are working within um, filming. Um, usually it's a kind of slightly smaller scale than kind of the TV industry as such. Um, because we tend to get individuals that are more local to Edinburgh. Um, but we, we have been expanding our network quite a lot. Um, so we have got links with people who are across uh, media just in general. Um, so within the, the programme, when you apply, you say what kind of individual you'd be interested in being matched with. Um, and then when we get your application, we will look at the mentor list and see who fits best with um, with that. Um, and then we will match you up um, and you can take your uh, your mentor relationship forward from there. Um, it is a one-to-one, -one, so you do get um, really good advice and guidance to help you. Uh, quite a few of our um, mentees have actually kept in touch with their mentors even beyond the, the mentoring relationship. Um, you know, into their first, first year of their graduate job, um, they've still been accessing support and advice from their mentor as well. So it's really good to see. Um, and a lot of people have said it's been really beneficial for just their general knowledge, I guess, of the industry um, and making links with TV and film in particular, that, that knowing people, um, it's all about who you know and how you can um, broaden your network. So definitely the mentoring is something that encourage you to take part in. Okay, and uh, Neves has got a follow-up question about um, applying for job opportunities before you come to the university. So there will be some opportunities that are available now um, and will continue to be advertised through, um, through our portal, but you will only have access to the Student Central portal after you've matriculated. Um, because it, it works with your university number. There are other ways that you can apply for jobs before you arrive. So you can look yourself to source opportunities, depending if you're staying on campus or whether you're staying in Edinburgh. You might want to think about what's nearby for you, for example. If you're on campus, you've got um, likes of a shopping centre um, and there's uh, restaurants the cinema um, as well as lots of shops out there so that's quite a good one to look at if you're within the, the city centre the opportunities be very different and um, so you can do a little bit of searching yourself but if you wait until you arrive you'll be able to access the student central portal and also access our support as well okay and uh, martina is asking if, if it's easy enough for irish students who attend cumu to get a job back home in ireland or is it easier to get a job in scotland i'm assuming martina that it's on a, an allied health profession course that you're referring to because that tends to be where we see the majority of students um, coming from ireland and um, we do have a number of students that do wish to return home um, so yes they tend to find that the opportunity is available um, Therapeutic radiography is obviously quite specialist, um, so you might want to have a little bit of a look around at what organisations are out there. Um, within Scotland, the general one you're going to be looking at is the NHS, um, and there, there is a kind of NHS careers board where it's advertised, um, so there's a bit more of a one-stop shop, whereas in Ireland, you might find that it's a little bit more fragmented. 
um, for where you source your job opportunities. But we do know that students are successful in returning home every year um, and will be able to find opportunities. It's more about looking for them. Um, but certainly within allied health professions programmes, um, we do work with students um, within those subject areas during your studies. Um, within the radiography programme, there will be a day where we talk you through how to apply for a job in radiography. Um, so you actually get a dedicated career soon with us um, so that you can then use that knowledge to transfer back to wherever it is that you're applying for. Um, so hopefully that will give you a little bit of more advice and guidance there too. Okay, I've got one question from Brittany. So asking if uh, having a master's provide better job opportunities. Um, it really depends on a lot of different factors, to be honest, whether the course is tailored to a specific vocational path. So, um, you know, for example, if you are looking to study gastronomy, for example, that's quite a specific you kind know, of route. Um, so perhaps you do need that that master's in order to get into that career, particularly if you've not had any qualifications in that that area before. For some people, it's just that they want to enhance their knowledge and their experience. So um, if we're thinking about the international leadership management and leadership courses, it might be that somebody has a particular interest in, in developing knowledge in that sector. It all depends on in individual circumstances, really. Job opportunities wise, there are a whole host of job opportunities some may specify that you need to have a master's others might only ask for you know a minimum of a bachelor degree for example but the, the benefit of the master's is you're enhancing your knowledge that bit further and providing yourself with that opportunity to really go in depth with your knowledge um, and your your understanding that you can gain from the course there's also aspects like self-discipline, those kind of personal qualities I mentioned in the beginning of the presentation. So personal qualities can be things like your time management and your self-discipline, being able to really focus on what it is that you're studying. You know, at undergraduate level, you maybe have a little bit more hand-holding, perhaps. You're kind of guided through a lot of things. Um, but at, at master's level, it's really very much up to you, um, you know, to be doing the work and making sure that you're, you're completing the assignments and things. So the kind of personal attributes that you can develop through a master's is definitely something that would be beneficial for your future job opportunities. But it's maybe not always necessary. Um, it just depends on you as an individual and as to whether that specific course that you're looking at is going to get you into the career um, that you want. Okay, and uh, Chiara is asking, will being on placement affect having a part-time job during the course? So it can if your placement's obviously slightly further afield. What we tend to advise is if you're looking for opportunities through our jobs board, then obviously that job has been advertised to students. So people that have advertised that vacancy know that they're they're advertising it to students who do have full time studies, particularly if you're looking for, you know, opportunities like on campus and um, the student ambassador program, for example, that's a really flexible job. So we tend to say that if you are in placement, something to make your employer aware of, perhaps as you're going through that process. But it certainly it doesn't stop people having jobs. If you're on placement, we do know of students having part-time jobs during their course. You might be more interested in having seasonal vacancies. So maybe just taking on work over the summer term or over the Christmas break, for example. So there can be seasonal opportunities that might work better depending on when your placement times are. But as I say, if you are applying for vacancies that we have advertised, they are going to students. So the organisation that have advertised them should know that you do have other commitments outside of that um, that job as well. So hopefully that can help balance things. But if you do have any questions or concerns as you're looking for work, then do come along and have a chat with us. We're more than happy to help. 
Okay, and I've got a question about having links with consultancy firms. So some of my other colleagues have been, you know, working with the university for a bit longer than I have. So I think it's certainly something that my colleagues would be able to give you a bit more support with. My colleague Juan has, he's developed links particularly because he runs the employer mentoring programme. So um, he has been working with a whole host of different organisations. And I think there are perhaps some consultants that are mentors now as well. So that might be something that he can give you some further advice with. But if it's not something that we can immediately help with a specific firm, then certainly we'd be happy to work with you to do a bit of investigation into you know, where it, it might be that you want to look for those links or contacting other academics on your behalf to find out you know, what links that they have as well. So hopefully we'll be able to give you some advice if we don't necessarily have the key contact person um, off the top of our heads. Do feel free to email or, or get in touch with us and be a little bit more specific about what it is you're looking for and we should be able to help you there. So that sort of rounds things off. Hopefully it's given you a bit of an idea of what we can do in terms of support. Um, any questions you have, do get in touch, get in contact with ourselves directly with the recruitment team and just ask, ask anything that we can maybe help you with. But thank you very much. Hopefully it's been helpful for you. And as I say, hopefully we'll see you later on in the year.